Hello, Columbia Southern University students, and welcome to POL 2303, POL 2303. This course is called Politics and Terrorism. And as you might expect, this is a relatively new academic study. Terrorism didn't begin on September 11th, 2001. But that's really about 20 years ago when we started to seriously consider it as an academic discipline because it affected us so directly here in the United States. Um, we'll look at a lot of different issues in this course uh, from what terrorism is. I always believe in beginning a course by defining our terms. So we'll discuss what terrorism is and what it isn't how it differs from conventional warfare. And we'll look at things also like, how do terrorist groups form and how do they attract new members and how do average citizens become radicalized so that they potentially become terrorists. And then we'll look at uh, methods of counter-terrorism. That is, how do governments and societies fight terrorism. We'll see that terrorism is not a new thing on the global scene. We'll look at its historic roots going back as far as the 1880s. Uh, my name is Douglas Mock. Uh, I'll be the instructor for this course. I've been with Columbia Southern University since 2018. I currently teach full-time for Moorhead State University in Moorhead, Kentucky. I've previously taught at the University of New England in Maine and at Pensacola State College in Florida. My undergraduate degree is from the University of Central Florida. My uh, master's degree is from the University of West Florida in Pensacola, Florida. And finally, I obtained my PhD in political science and political theory from Boston University in Massachusetts. Best way to contact me is via the email. My email is Douglas, that's D O U G L A S dot mock, M O C K, at Columbia Southern dot edu. So it's Douglas dot mock at Columbia Southern dot edu. Uh, my phone number is 207 629 7992. So you should feel free to call me as well. Although if you do call me, keep in mind, I'm on the East Coast. Uh, so adjust your time accordingly, 8 a.m. on the West, excuse me, 8 p.m. on the West Coast would be 11 p.m. Uh, on the East Coast where I am. So just, I'm not on the East Coast, but I am in Eastern Standard Time. Uh, so just keep those time differences uh, in mind uh, when you go to contact me. Allow me 28 hours or 48 hours to respond to an email. Uh, and I look forward to working with you uh, in this course and getting to know each of you. Let me know how I can help. All right. Thanks. And we'll talk soon.